I'm Tanya Lyon for the Orange County Register and this is OCN2 for Tuesday, June 23rd. Firefighters in Anaheim made a grisly discovery while battling a blaze last night. They discovered a burned body inside of a charred vehicle parked inside a burning commercial building. Authorities don't know if the body was that of a man or woman and are trying to determine whether the person was a victim of foul play or tragic accident. Early reports indicate that the blaze may have been started by fireworks, but investigators are also looking at energized wires as a possible cause. Public protest to the violence in Iran continues to grow throughout Orange County. On Monday night, protesters met once again, this time outside of a grocery store in Irvine, to peacefully demonstrate against the Iranian government and the violence that continues to rock Iran. Organizers have been using social networking sites like Facebook and Twitter to spread word of the protests. They've seen attendance at the nightly protests grow from hundreds to thousands as Iranian Americans continue to gather to show support for loved ones overseas. The Nixon Presidential Library and Museum is scheduled to release thousands of documents from Nixon's presidency and more than 150 hours of taped conversations today. The released tapes will be from Nixon's second term when he helped broker a short-lived peace deal between North and South Vietnam and when the U.S. Supreme Court issued its famous Roe v. Wade ruling, which opened the door to legalize abortion in the United States. The documents and tapes will be available to the general public, and audio from the tapes will also be available on the library's website. After just one year in office, Orange County Sheriff Sandra Hutchins says she's made significant progress towards overhauling the department. The sheriff met with reporters yesterday to discuss her plans to continue to improve the department despite significant budget concerns that could result in layoffs and the elimination of some county crime lab services. In her short time in office, Hutchins has revamped the county jail system and was recently applauded by a grand jury report for her changes. A nine-year-old says he was just doing what he had to do when he saved a two-year-old from drowning on Saturday. Max De La Rosa of Santa Ana was playing with friends in Garden Grove when two-year-old Angel fell into the pool. Max dove in after the toddler and pulled him to safety where Angel's parents began administering CPR. Angel's recovering at UCI Medical Center and Max hopes to become a police officer one day. For more on these stories and for breaking news all day long, log on to OCRegister.com.